Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. It's another drinking video. Yes. I'm, 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 there's going to be a kid one soon. Believe me. <laughs> but it's another drinking video. <laughs> so this is a review of all the whiskey and bourbons we have here at home. Mm -hmm. We're not whiskey drinkers or bourbon drinkers Not even close. Um, we've had this uh, for a while, huh, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly to entertain friends that come over. Yeah. But since we don't have any friends that come over anymore. But they can't come over now. <laughs> yeah, they, ex exactly. We're going to try them out. Because again, I've never really drank any of this stuff without being mixed with something. That's true. Not now, just on its own. Remember last year, we went to uh, the Jack Daniels we did. distillery. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. So we're kind of familiar with Jack Daniels. Yeah. And I think I don't think we taste a single barrel. No. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, besides that. It's gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. It's, none of them are flavored, so you know how Jack Daniels comes with the apple yeah. and stuff like that. These are just straight up their their whiskeys and and scotches and the things and that bourbon, they right. yeah. And so we have the domestic ones here, which I have the Jack Daniels, and as you can see, I have the Jack Daniels single barrel, the Maker's Mark, and the Woodford Ranch. Yeah, I have the Glenlivet, the small Glenfiddich. Uh, Jameson and Bushmills. Uh -huh. well, so let's get this tasting started. Baby. Okay, uh, we'll see. Should we flip who goes or you want me to go? Uh, no, you can go. Okay, I'll go. So we're going to start off with Bushmills, which is, I believe, a Scottish or Irish? Uh, this yeah. one is. Yeah, I believe it's Irish. Okay. It's an Irish, Irish. whiskey. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll just take like a. Yeah, I'm just reading the bottle while he's speaking. Okay, get a little bit of burn. Okay. A um, little sweet, a little sweet. Really? It's yeah. My turn. Let's see. Tell me what you think. A little bit of burn. A little bit. I taste like, like, I taste like I'm in a forest. It tastes like kind of a, like woodsy or oaky. Definitely oaky. It is a little bit of sweet. That's actually it really is. good. It's not bad, huh? It goes down smooth. Mm -hmm. It's already warming me up, so it's dangerous. We'll see what how we feel at the end of this video. Okay, we're gonna move on to good. the Jameson. Let me get some water really quick. We're gonna move on to the Jameson now, which is a Irish whiskey. More burn. Really? You didn't even drink half. I you did. Didn't drink the rest of it. Look at that. Don't, don't cheat on me. Thank you. More burn than the Bushmills. For some reason, I thought the Jameson would be a little bit more smoother, but it's definitely a little bit more burn. Right, you're supposed to feel the burn on your lips too. <laughs> well, oh. I guess. But what did you think? Actually, the taste for me of the Jameson is a little bit more light tasting. Mm -hmm. It's not as woodsy. It, it it almost tastes the same, but it's not like I'm in a forest. I'm more in the like, city, like in the cabin. <laughs> Well, Very light taste. For sure, I think the Bushmills are a little sweeter. It is sweeter. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Glenlivet Glen now. Yeah. Just right here. And this is a, a single malt Scotch single malt. whiskey. Scotch so it's whiskey. A blend, yeah. Cheers. Okay, less burn. Really? Less burn than the Jameson. Not as sweet. So that, that's the tones that I'm getting. Oh yeah. A lot less burn. This one's really smooth. Do you think it's a, it's a single malt? Because I've seen some single malts, single barrels. I don't know what the difference is. You can really, what's interesting is you can really taste the difference of these um, drinks. Yeah, back to back. That tastes very woodsy to me. Not, not sweet at all, just very woodsy to me. It's really okay, good. Okay, well, this is the Glen Fittich. You could read about this one. I believe this is also a Scotch. Special Reserve. Scotch whiskey also. It is a uh, Scotch whiskey. It's mm -hmm. also, yep, 
same thing age 12 years single malt scotch whiskey same thing as the Glen uh, Glenlivet mm -hmm. yes and uh, Glenfiddich is a little FYI it's like triangular even the large bottles also triangular because I heard like back in the days on the ship they did, if it fell over they didn't want it to keep rolling away so they made it triangular. I don't, I don't so know if that's true, but, but it sounds kind of cool. Just a little bit of a sweetness to it. Not as much as the bush mills. This one, the burn kind of lingers on your tongue. To me, they all smell the same, though, just so you know. They all smell alcoholic. This one has a little everlasting burn to it. Oh, that was a fun one. It's not that strong, though. I mean, no, more this, stronger I think than the burn the just hit me really fast. Actually, it's a very light taste. It's a little bit on the sweet side. It's again, yeah. it's I guess the mix, the malts are a very woody taste to me. Hmm. A little well, bit of burn. Out Interesting. Of, out of the four, which one did you like? I like the Glenlivet. Oh, you like the Glenlivet? Mm hmm out of the four. It was smoother, it, it was a really good tasting whiskey if I were to uh, drink it just straight like that. And it, you know, it doesn't really need anything. I know people add other things to it or, or things like that. That one is just a really good, really good scotch whiskey. I think I have to agree. Even though the, the Bushmills was a little bit sweeter, the Glenlivet was more well balanced all around. So yeah. if I ever went to a bar and I just want something on the rocks, I'll probably ask for some Glenlivet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That wraps it up for the imports. Yeah. Domestic, baby. Domestic, baby. Now your turn. Okay. So I'm going to try this end first. I'm just going to try this Jack Daniels right here. Cheers. Oh. Smells oh. alcohol. Old number seven. No burn at all. Huh? It tastes oaky. Well, I think all it's the all the whiskeys are in oak barrels. So that's yeah, why. it's really good. It's no burn at all, which no, yeah. is really good. It's a very light tasting. Minimum, very yeah. minimum burn. Yeah. Minimum. Compared was, compared to these. That was really good. Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting, huh? That was really interesting. Are you getting warm in here? We have our fake fireplace on. Oh, yeah, but I don't think it's that. I okay. think it's getting kind of warm. Okay, let's try this other one. Okay, what's that one? This is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel. Single Barrel? Single Barrel. Yeah. Hand selected. We really don't know what the single barrel means. I think we're paying no. attention when we're at the Jack no, Daniels. No, this is only 94 proof. Only 94 compared to 80 with Ooh, that one. Look. 94. Ooh. Okay. okay. Oh, that is smooth. Huh? At 94 proof? That is smooth. This is, yes, you do taste the oakiness of it, which is really good. Um, it is really smooth. It's a very light tasting for 90, 94 proof. It, this one could definitely, if you're a, a whiskey drinker, this one will get you in trouble. This, is, this goes down way too smooth. It's probably why it's probably the most expensive out of all yeah. of these. So this is way smooth, baby. Yeah, you're right. That's you sure. obviously have that whiskey burn. Oh, I just burp. You do have the burn. It was, it was caramel. It's kind of weird that I burped caramel, but you can really taste that caramel taste in this one. Sorry, I just burped. Good thing it was a little quiet. Yeah, uh, I could tell that it's a little bit more potent than the regular Jack Daniels, but uh, it does have a smoothness and a nice burn to it. I think it'd be good on the rocks. Yes. On the, on the mm -hmm. rocks. Okay. okay. Just two left. Ah. Okay. Uh, good thing we ate before this. Now this is the Maker's Mark. This one actually smells sweet. It, this one smells like caramel. Maybe I'm getting caramel because I'm hot. I don't know. Okay, uh, maybe this. you like caramel. 
Ironically, it's in the Las Vegas shot glass. Oh, this is a burn. Oh, is it? Now, this huh. is a favorite among yeah. a lot of whiskey. Yeah, uh, Maker's Mark like has every a day slight burn. Whiskey it's a little bit sweet to it. It has a little bit of banana in it. I taste a little bit of banana. <laughs> <laughs> This banana! This ain't real. <laughs> I know, but I taste banana. <laughs> Caramel and banana. Oh, I want a banana's foster. <laughs> Drink this stuff. <laughs> Don't rush me. Um. Huh? <laughs> it does have a burn to it. Caramel. Bananas, I'm, I'm not tasting it. <laughs> oh, I I'm not like, tasting see? it. I'm not tasting it. No. But what well, that said, when we do our, I guess our bourbon whiskey tour, that yeah, we want to stop by Maker's Mark so we, we can hand dip our own. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a, there are factors over there where you can hand dip your own uh, wax, huh, baby? Hand dip your own wax? Yeah, they'll hand dip your own bottle. Uh, hand dip your own bottles. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm not drunk. Okay, so the last one. Is a Woodford Ranch. Mm -hmm. I believe it's high octane. Does it say how many proof it is? Nothing. Um, ninety-eight point nine. Only ninety point four, baby. Also, oh, single this barrel one is more. more. Well, go ahead and get it right there. Ninety point four proof Woodford um, Ranch. My throat's hurting. I mean Woodford Reserve. You're the one that said ranch earlier. I did say Woodford Ranch. Yeah. Mm, it smells just like alcohol. By that, I'm guessing you need whiskey. It's more like a flavor of whiskey. Oh, there's a burn to it. This one has a burn to it. Would you say as much burn as like the Jack Daniels regular? No, or the as Mark? much as a, as a international. Oh, as much as these? Yeah. Like the Jameson? I'm the Jameson. That one just tastes like plain, plain oak. Yeah, they, they, you know, we're not trained whiskey drinkers, we're not. Like, like we mentioned, so they all taste similar to us. I mean, yeah. they all taste and smell the same. <laughs> <laughs> it does have some burn. It's probably because of, of the higher proof. Wow, so... Successfully tried yeah. all eight. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is your favorite? What is favorite? Favorite. <laughs> you said favorite. Ooh. Okay. So, what's your favorite among all eight whiskey? Let me finish. Oh, sorry. Whiskey, bourbon, scotch. Single barrel. Jack Daniel's single barrel. Wow. Well, you went for the domestic. I went Jack for the Daniel. domestic. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're kind of partial to it because you actually went to the no. distillery? Nope. Because I have I know nothing about whiskey. And to me, if I were to drink any whiskey, this is the one I would drink. It tastes very good with nothing to it. I don't need anything with it. I can taste it just, I like it plain. Again, I've tried like Jack and Coke before and stuff like that, but this right. one doesn't need anything at all. So the other ones, I think a little, some of the other ones, I think it needs to be toned down a bit, maybe with a mixer. I don't know if that's the right thing, but I think that some of the other ones may need, need to be toned down with a mixer, but this one is the best tasting one. So did you like the Jack and Coke when you had it with the regular Jack Daniels? I don't remember. You're expecting me to think, and I well, just had eight half shots of whiskey. Which is four shots of whiskey. No, because I was going to ask, if you like Jack Daniels and Coke, maybe single barrel and Coke would be more awesome. Maybe, but I don't think it needs a mixer. But maybe. I think so. Yeah. Wow. Do you, you drink it straight up at the bar next time? Sure. Like a cowgirl? Give me yeah. the bottle. Like a cowgirl. Give me the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll bring my spurs. Well, there you have it. Uh, your favorite was that one. What's yours? For mine. Mm, Come you know on, this is a short video. Hurry up. It's going to be a toss up between the, uh, the single barrel and the Glen Living. I really like this one too, because this sucker has been aged for 12 years. So I would say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against the grain and I'm gonna choose Glen Living as my favorite. Wow, a mix. 
Yeah. Just like you and I. Mm-hmm. Kind of a mix. Huh? Chinese, Japanese. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. This well. Is going a different way now. <laughs> We're done. Okay, I'm well, well um, I don't know if you guys like these kind of videos because we have more booze. <laughs> We have a lot of booze, but the next video is going to be a non-alcoholic. So we have some what? Wow. that goes with kids, and it goes. Oh, yeah. actually, it's not going to be completely non-alcoholic because the what we're thinking of making, you can add alcohol to it. Sure. So you could have a either a, a virgin option or a, a boozy version. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's all over the internet. So right now, you can you look all over the internet to see what to make. You can probably, can probably figure out what we're gonna make. They have no idea what you're talking about. I guarantee you. I'm just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, thanks again mm. for watching all the way up to this point. <laughs> if you made it. I have to go again. Hurry up and end the video. We're going to end the video. <laughs> thanks for watching our whiskey adventure. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>